What's up, Pens Patrol, and welcome back to some more Pokemon Crystal Randomized Dice Lock. It is time for the final episode. The final. The final. Oh my god, it's finally here. We're actually going to be taking on red. Oh boy. Uh, I really didn't think we'd get this far. Uh, things are looking a little scary at blue, and I think, I think we had some scary moments before then as well, but... Uh, we made it to red. Uh, I'm I'm under leveled, but that's not my fault. That's fault of the D8. So let's do a quick team recap. Now that I've trained off screen, and I know I got my math wrong with the last episode. Four plus nine is not fifteen. It is thirteen. And I did unfortunately grind a few mons up by fifteen levels. To be fair, though. They were the weakest, mon some of the weakest mons on the team. So anyway, we have Psych the Zatu, level 70, holding the Twisted Spoon with Waterfall, Fly, Confuse Ray, and Psychic. He finally learned Psychic, at level 65. What a stupid level to learn it. We've got Force the Entei, level 70, holding the Leftovers with Flamethrower, Surf, Pin Missile and Strength. I gave I found the TM for Pin Missile from a woman in a house um, by Silver Cave uh, that you needed to cut to get to. Uh, and I thought, well, it's a bug is physical this generation, and I guess if I have to leave him in on a Psychic type, then I have something that can damage. Um, but hey. We got Moonshine, the Clefable level 70, holding the Polka Dot Bow to boost the Strength. With Flash, uh, Moonlight, and Surf as well. Terrible, terrible team member. We got Kaiju the Tyranitar, level 70, holding the soft sand with Crunch, Rock Slide, Earthquake, and Thrash. Very powerful mon. We have Ramune the Vaporeon, level 70, holding the Mystic Water with Surf, Rock Smash, Aurora Beam, and Bite. And last but not least, we have Jonathan the Machamp, level 61, with Black Belt. Uh, and Karate Chop, Cross Chop, Submission, and Strength. Mm. We have a pretty decent team. The only problem is... Red is in the 70s. I, I did look up his levels, and his ace is level 81. <laughs> so, I don't know how well this is gonna go. But... I'm I'm gonna I'm try my best. There's gonna be no speeding up this entire episode as well. Even if we're walking through the cave, there's gonna be no speeding up. It's the final episode. We're we're gonna take things at a at a decent pace. Pilot's warning. You weren't here when I was training up earlier. So Okay. The the tile set changes at eleven o'clock. That's that's Good to know, actually. That is hand. That is actually handy to know. Hmm. Hmm. Because I came in here. I came in here for training. Oh god, I'm yawning. Before the episode began, before I started recording this episode, and there was shelters, there was glooms, there was ante. I was a bit confused because like, what? I was training at this time of the morning yesterday, and there was not these mons appearing. But yeah, turns out the, the tile set changes at 11 a.m. Didn't know. Did not know. If I had known, I would have waited so that I could fight chances. Because I know chances appear uh, during the day. Look, exactly. Exactly what I was talking about. Chansey. You ain't got a chance, Chansey. We are encountering a lot of mons. I probably should have put a cleanse tag on Zatu. So that we could actually get through here at a decent pace. Because I feel like we're getting through here very, very slowly. <laughs> Running into a mon every like six steps. Jesus. Chancy, get out of here. Get out of here, Chancy. But this is the last episode. If we win, if we beat red, then we've beat the lock. If we lose to red, then we've lost to the lock. Oh boy, it's it it is either make or break, do or die. Oh boy, I'm 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 a bit nervous. I won't I won't lie. I am a bit nervous about fighting red. 
but I think we might be okay. I did also stock up on healing items. I went back to Viridian City and I went and fought the that one trainer that killed like two of our mons. The uh what is it? The the mystery gift trainer that changes when you use mystery gift or something. I went and fought that guy because I know they were level 50. So I, I was pretty confident in the team that they being able oh god. They being able to handle them. Uh which they did. So we managed to get like 10k off of them. Uh, plus I sold a TM, which gave us a good amount of money for for uh, spending on healing items. So, here we go. The best soundtrack in the entire game. So there is one thing we're going to do with the dice. The D6. I didn't roll it for a lead, but there's a reason for that. For this time around, not because I forgot. What we're doing with the D6 for this battle is every time R Red has to switch or does switch, we roll the 6. Whether we like it or not, we don't get a free switch. We don't get to decide whether we want to switch if we kill him on. We have to switch, no matter what. And you'll see what I mean. Jigglypuff, really? Oh, this is supposed to be your Pikachu. Okay. Well, I'm coming and swinging from the start. That Twisted Spoon Stab Boosted Psychic. Come on. Come on. Two shot. At least. Yeah, it's a two shot. Okay. Oh, you're double slapping to injectedly squat. Boy. Uh, can you... Can, can you... Uh, can you... Can you stop, please? Yeah, of course you hit five times. Jesus. Should I make it even harder on myself and say no healing items because I because I accidentally broke the broke the D8 <laughs> because I did my math wrong as a like as a punishment? Oh, I don't know. Maybe I should. It depends how easy. It, it depends like what his next couple mons are because I don't think we're gonna need to heal against the Jigglypuff. I really don't think that. Really, full restore. Well, we know we can kill with a psychic if waterfall does an okay amount of damage I went for the waterfall so I could save on PP but how much is this gonna do oh that's gonna be an easy kill with psychic okay hell yeah achieve death Jigglypuff okay Jigglypuff done I'm gonna roll the d6 now before we see what the next mon is. So, whatever the D6 tells us, we're, is we're, we're gonna have to switch into it. The number five. Okay, I think that's Ramune. So I think we're okay. Because Ramune is one of the MVP of the team. Oh god! Oh no. Oh, this is bad. Oh no. I don't want to stay in. I'm gonna have to switch. Come on, number four. Come on, four. Yes! Ask and thou shall receive. Don't have a fighting move. Okay, Screech. Good. That's that's fine. That is fine. Earthquake. You have speed. Of course you do. Your kaiju's slow as heck. Kaiju's really heckin' slow. This This should kill. Super effective, and uh, it's stab and soft sand boosted. Hell yeah! What is the next one gonna be? Three. Okay, I don't remember who that is. Golduck. A moonshine. Okay, you know what? I'll give moonshine a chance against this Golduck. It's level seventy-seven though. Hmm. I'm not gonna lie. I'm kind of worried about this. But as long as he keeps spamming Screech, it's okay. I feel like we're having too easy a time. Because he keeps going for, like, Screech. And with Jigglypuff double slaps, so... I think... The problem I've got... I've had with this series... 
is the same as what I had with the last series. And that was the, the red Nuzlocke. And that was, I set it to try to use mons of similar strength. Espeon. Okay, you usually have an Espeon. That's normal for you. We're going out to number two. Um, so I, th I feel like it's maybe made the game a little too easy. So from here on out, we're not using that at all. So from here on out, the champion could have a Caterpie, or he could have a Mewtwo or something. Or Gen 3, you could have, Gen 3, you could have a Wurmple or a Rayquaza or something. Uh, it, it is a Psychic type, Pin Missile. That is doing fuck all. <laughs> Okay. Probably should have just gone for the flamethrower, to be honest. No way. Okay, I'll, oh, I'll, I'll take it. I'll take it. Okay. 3k. Wow. Ninetales. Two. So, I can stay in. Can't I? Yeah, you were number two. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Surf. I doubt that's gonna kill. It's not stab. It's super effective, yes, but it's not stab. Plus, Entei's a, Ente a physical attacker. Alright, you didn't go for a quick attack that time. Okay. Oh boy, one mon to go. Come on, roll. Number one. Politoed. And we get to use Psych again. I don't even need to heal this fight. This has been really easy. I've kind of psyched myself up for something difficult, but I'll admit this has been pretty easy so far. Double slap? Oh my god. Try to use Mons of similar strength. Yeah, that made the game way too easy. Hypnosis. Didn't affect. Cool. Well, I'll 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 admit, I'm disappointed. I'm disappointed I didn't get a challenge. Very disappointed. But that means that we did beat the Crystal Dice Lock. Uh, I don't know what we're going to Dice Lock next. We're probably not going to do another Dice Lock for a little while. Uh, probably not until after Sword and Shield is done. So, look forward to that. I do have the next game lined up that we're going to be doing. So that will be starting on Monday. We are going to be continuing with three Pokemon videos a week. Uh, and I gotta say, I'm really glad that I found the randomizer for the game that we're going to be playing through. Because it was a pain to set up. So, if if we don't have fun with it, then I'm going to be very sad. But I'm sure it's going to be a ton of fun. So, starting on Monday will be a normal playthrough of Pokemon XD Gale of Darkness randomized. So... Hope you're looking forward to that if you are, and if you have enjoyed this series, leave a like and subscribe, even a comment down below. Let me know what you think of the series and upcoming series in the future, and I will see you all in the next video. Later, peeps! Woo!